All right, let's see how quickly we can get started with the Gemini API and Superbase Edge functions. Now, it's claiming here we can get started in less than five minutes. So let's have a look. Uh, Node.js, as you know, we are using Dino, so we should be good to go here. So we'll just need to use um, this from NPM. So let's um, go into our Gemini directory here, new folder test. Um, let's go into test, open that in VS Code, uh, in it a new Superbase project, Superbase in it. Yes, we want to do Dino. And then we'll just say superbase functions new Gemini. So now we have a new function here. So the way we can import um, this, we can import it from uh, either JSR or if it's not available on JSR, let's have a look. Yeah, looks like uh, the Google generative AI um, is not available on JSR, so we can get it from uh, NPM, and then we want to import from. Uh, we want to import. What do we import? The uh, Google Generative AI. That's what we want. Okay, there you can see, and we got um, all the. This is the top level SDK. We got our class here. Okay, fantastic. We need an API key. Okay, get an API key from the studio. So we'll say develop in our own environment. Okay, continue. And so now we can create an API key. Okay, got it. Uh, we'll create an API key and a new project. There we are, we got our API key. So what we can do is in our functions, we'll do a new .env file, and we'll just say Gemini secret key is this one here. Don't worry, I'll disable it <laughs> after recording this. And then what we need, let's go back to the docs, Okay, we got this imported, and then we basically just need to um, get our API key and our um, there. Now the way we get the API key in Dino is Dino dot env dot get. Now we didn't call it Google API key. No, we called it Gemini secret key. There we are, and you know, you see Dino, we already get all the fantastic TypeScript um, things. And then really what we just need to do is um, we'll catch the prompt. We'll send the prompt from with the API request to our Edge function. Uh, we'll generate content. So in this case, we're not streaming it, but we're just generating it and we're awaiting it and then we get the result and then maybe we'll just here return the result and as a JSON. Uh, yeah, let's save that. And then to invoke it locally, we'll need to just pass a prompt and we'll say explain Superbase to me. And then let's see if Gemini knows about Superbase. So lastly, we'll just need to do Superbase start. There we go, we're all up and running now. So we'll just need to make our request. Okay, explain Superbase to me. And there we go, we get a response, the open source, Firebase alternative, uh, fantastic, provides a powerful set of tools for building web and mobile applications. Very good, and that was less than five minutes. Well done. All right.